I greet you in Jesus' name, our Lord, who has given us another day to live and see his waters. That's why I thank God for this opportunity even to share the word of God with you. And so, let us open our Bible with the book of Jeremiah, chapter number 2 and verse number 19. The Bible says, your wickedness will punish you. Your backsliding will rebuke you. Consider then and realize how evil and bitter it is for you when you forsake the Lord your God and have no way of me, declare the Lord, the Lord Almighty. That is the word of the Lord. And that's why this morning I want to share with you a topic which is causes of backsliding from God in this time of coronavirus. I realize it's very easy for people to backslide, especially when there's problems, when there's famine, when there's a hard time, when there's suffering, Sometimes it's easier for people to backslide. We have heard from the word of God that the lack of fear of God can cause people to backslide. People can backslide when there's no fear of God in them. And so my dear friends, I would like us to hear what God is saying. That God is rebuking us when forsaken. Because of our wickedness, God is rebuking us. And we cannot be able to fellowship with God. And so it is very easy for people to backslide. And so, point number one that causes us or causes people to backslide. Is that one we have found in the book of Jeremiah 2 and verse number 19. That the lack of God fear in us can cause backsliding. Let us allow the fear of God to help us in this time of coronavirus. There are problems, there are suffering, there's no food. So it's easier. For us, a time like this, to forsake the Lord, that we don't have the fear of God in us. And that one can bring a backsliding in our life. Causes number two that can bring backsliding is the lack of maintaining personal love, relationship with the Lord. That one can also cause backsliding. But when we love the Lord, when we maintain that personal relationship, we cannot backslide in Jesus' name. So lack of relationship, lack of love of God is not your portion like this of coronavirus in Jesus name and number three cause of backsliding is lack of spiritual watchfulness lack of spiritual watchfulness this, this is a very high time for us as Christian to be watchful there are so many things that are going on some of them are not spiritual. Some of them are not helping us. What am I saying? I'm saying that we need to be watchful. Anything that can take you from 
God. Anything that can take your love from God, anything that is not from God, you have to know it. Be watchful that you can be able to know the thing that can be able to bring back backsliding in your life. And I said earlier that backsliding is not our portion at a time like this in Jesus' name. And number four, cause of backsliding, which is not our portion, is lack of much prayer. Lack of much prayer can cause us to backslide. Prayer is a weapon. Prayer is power that can help us move in with a with very with very hard time, with no food. We can continue praying more. We can engage our, our ourselves to pray more. And the more we pray, the more we get more power. And that power helps us to continue desiring to have more love of God in our life in Jesus' name. So let us engage ourselves with more prayer. And as we pray more, we are going to have more power to continue moving on. Even this time of coronavirus, we can be able to move on in Jesus' name. So backsliding is not our portion, even in this time of coronavirus, in Jesus' name. And point number five, the cause of backsliding is lack of spiritual sustenance from the word of God. It can cause us to backslide. But when we sustain the word of God, we cannot backslide. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help you that in this time, we can be able to sustain the word of God. And when we sustain the word of God in our heart, we cannot backslide. May that be your portion. May you sustain the word of God in your heart. And you are going to enjoy to move on with God, even this hard time that we are as Christians. Number six, the cause of backsliding is lack of fellowship with the people of God. A lack of fellowship with the people of God can cause backsliding. And so, dear friends, we need the fellowship of one another. We are, not, we are not meeting in churches, but we can meet in WhatsApp. We can meet in Facebook. We can meet even in prayer. You can remember me. I can remember you wherever you are. We can, we can meet even in various ways. And we can be able to encourage one another. We can be able to give hope to one another. We can be able to help one another. We can call somebody through phone and you can be able to encourage somebody according to the word of God. That's Hebrews, Hebrews 10 and verse number, Hebrews 10 verse number 24 to 25. Fellowship of one another in Jesus' name. Number seven, cause of backsliding is lack of obedience to the word of the Spirit. Lack of obedience to the word of the Spirit. It's very important for us to be hearing the Spirit of God. We need to be sensitive to the Spirit of God. Because when we hear that Spirit of God, what the Spirit of God is telling us, what direction that God is taking us, we cannot backslide. So that is lack of obey, vision through the word of spirit can cause backsliding. And number eight, cause of backsliding is lack of separation from worldliness and worldly, worldly companionship. We need to separate ourselves from worldly companionship. If you see somebody who is not encouraging you, somebody who is always talking about problems, somebody who is not having fellowship with God, somebody who always talk problem, somebody who can encourage you, somebody who is more worldly than, than godly, you need to separate yourself from that person because you can backstage. So lack of separation, lack of separation from 
from worldliness, a uh, worldly company. That is that one can bring a backside. So please separate yourself from people who are as worldly people who are so much uh, who are not godly. Be careful. Be watchful that you don't backslide in this time of coronavirus. And the last one for today, number nine, is lack of proper humility. Lack of proper humility. And being lifted up in pride. So that's another another way of back, that's another cause of backsliding. Don't be a proud person. Be humble. And if you are going to be humble, you are going to enjoy this, this, this time that when people are suffering, when there's these problems that are there. So, lack of proper humanity, lack of uh, lack of proper humanity, and being lifted up in pride that can bring that can bring backsliding, and that is not your portion. Remember all the points that we have learned have phases that can go and lead. Point number one, you can go and lead Demia 2 and verse number 19. Point number two, you can go and read Revelation 2 from verse 1 to number 7. Point number three, you can read from Mark chapter number 13 and verse number 33. Point number four, you can go and read from Luke chapter number 22 from verse 39 to verse number 46. Point number five, you can go and read from Psalms 1 from verse 2 to verse number 3. Point number six, you can go and read from Hebrews 10 from 24 to 25. Point number seven, you can go and read Hebrews 5 and verse number 9. Point number eight, you can go and read 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse number 33. The last one, point number nine, you can go and read Proverbs 18 and verse number 22. Thank you and the Lord bless you. So remember, I talked about those nine points, the causes of backsliding, and you are not one of them. You are going to enjoy the blessing of God today at your life in Jesus' name. So have a good day. I bless you and I declare you are going out and coming in. You are a bless of the Lord and you are going to enjoy the doing of the Lord in your life. May the Lord cover you with his precious blood of his son Jesus Christ. May the face of God shine upon you in Jesus' name. Enjoy the day.